What's up everybody and welcome back yet again to another video here on the channel. I'm very glad you're here. So as you all guys know the World Cup is upon us. There's already been played a few games this week alone. One of the most outrageous matches I really have seen is Argentina versus Saudi Arabia really. I thought Argentina was clearly the favorite to win but and that's nothing against Saudi Arabia really. Saudi Arabia is a solid team but if you think about Argentina, Saudi Arabia, you might think that okay, Messi is in Argentina, the Argentina squad in general is, is, is very very strong, they should definitely take the cake 100%, but Saudi Arabia played very very well and they won 2-1 against Argentina. There's also other games that's been played like England winning 6-2 over uh, Iran, Ecuador winning 2 nil against uh, Qatar those who have the home advantage really and a bunch more matches really but as I said Argentina have lost against Saudi Arabia and that made me think like this is Messi's last chance to get the World Cup to win the World Cup for his not even for his team for his himself really and for his uh, team Argentina really for his country I should say and it's and it's not the greatest of starts really it's not the greatest of starts in that match against Saudi Arabia they was constantly running offside in some point like I feel like they, they scored like four goals that was offside or something like that maybe three I'm not, I'm not too sure about that but this is Messi's last chance and today we're going to watch a video little Messi last chance World Cup Qatar 2022 it is both Ronaldo's, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi's last chance to really win the World Cup. Only Messi was the closest one really. I, I, to be honest, I don't think Ronaldo or Portugal has what it takes. I feel like they will go far, Portugal. I feel like they will go far. But winning the World Cup, it might be a little bit harder task than uh, what the squad are capable of. But uh, I know, who, who knows? Who knows? Everything can happen, really. But yeah, as I said, we're going to react to Little Messi, the last chance. World Cup Qatar 2020 is only like three minutes long, so that is why I'm talking a little bit much. But let's not talk about. Let's just watch this uh, video. It's actually a kind of a sad thing. I feel like there will be a very empty space after Ronaldo and Messi, of course, have uh, retired. Really, and I don't know who is going to fulfill that so quickly. Uh, people are gonna say probably uh, Haaland and Mbappe, but. Um, it's never gonna be the same. It's not. It's never gonna be the same rivalry between Mbappe and Haaland. Who cares about Ronaldo and Messi? Always. It's always been that debate. Probably one of the biggest debates ever, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> but yeah, let's not talk anymore. Let's just see this video. Here we go. It is his last chance, really. He's been playing playing very very well in this season for. Um, Paris Saint-Germain really and he scored a penalty in this uh, in the match 2-1 it they lost 2-1 but if they can find this guy he's gonna carry them to the to the final but he cannot carry them alone he cannot carry them alone they need to play as a team Look at this. Oi. Oh my god. Of course. Of course he scores that one. Oh, that's no. How can you? How can you allow Messi to be so open against you, bro? Look how much space he has. Bro, he has the world of space. It's like he. It's like they forgot who they're playing against. <laughs> like, come on. I'm talking about all the team, of course, right? <laughs> I love that. Very, very sick. 
<laughs> this guy's trying so hard to get the ball. That's never gonna be another Messi. That's never gonna be another Messi. That will at some point that will at some point become another Cristiano Ronaldo. 100 percent But Messi is unreplaceable. There's nobody that can do what he can do. And that that left foot of his is uh, deadly. Always. Sick, bro. Damn. Well, yeah, the, the, the last chance of his is the last chance. Who, who are they playing against uh, next time? I feel like they are... Is, is, is it not Poland they're playing against uh, next uh, match? Okay, they're playing Mexico in the next game, really. They should definitely win this one. Like, Argentina in general has beaten uh, Mexico multiple, multiple times in the Copa America. I, I don't even know. Do, uh, do Mexico play in the Copa America? <laughs> I, I might just make things up right here two seconds guys okay i'm not uh, i'm not making things up they are playing in the Copa america and they uh, I, I was i was pretty confident about that one argentina has beaten mexico more multiple times in the Copa america and just in general so they should definitely win that one easily but th then, then again we said it as well with the uh, saudi arabia and look what happened the only good thing about the group really is that the, the Poland and Mexico drew which means that okay they only got one point ahead of Argentina so there might still be a chance that Argentina will go through even with even with the first loss really so that that, that they still have a chance really they just need to win against Poland and uh, and and maybe draw against uh, Mexico I feel like if you do that then you have four points and it might be good enough to go through but essentially you want to win uh, both next matches really it's very weird to really have the world cup in november really it feels it doesn't it doesn't even feel like a world cup almost but it's only the first matches for these uh, countries really so we shall see how it turns out but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video definitely hit that like button if you have and comment down below who is your what what is your country who do you want to win the world cup or, or who do you actually think is going to win the World Cup? I was thinking Argentina at first, but I'm not too sure anymore really. Uh, maybe France could win it. Uh, I have big expectation, I would say, uh, for uh, Brazil. The Brazil squad is out of this world really. And Neymar in this season is playing well. So that is that's scary. Vinicius Jr. can score goals now. I feel like in the last World Cup, Vinicius Jr. was not really... Um, so uh, dangerous when it comes to goal scoring but he has upped his game in that sense really so he is scary as well in the wing and then if you put uh, Neymar in the middle you put Gabriel Jesus on front you put Vinicius Jr you put whoever in the right who will that be maybe Rodrigo if he plays that's pace bro that's goals galore and then you have Allison and uh, freaking Ederson you have Marquinhos you have so many good players in the squad really how can they lose i would say brazil will win the world cup that's my prediction but yeah i'm gonna end it there see you guys in the next video take care and peace bye